Hi, I just want to take a couple minutes to show you the template that we have so far. I meet with Carrie today and I'll try to get you added to this template as soon as possible so then you can go in and look as it's progressing. So when you look at the content section, um, the syllabus will go here and I've started to go in and put in the objectives from your book. So it says lesson one is held in person on campus or synchronously online just in case we go to um, lockdown or changing of rules and regulations. So it has the objectives. It says that um, you should review chapters one, two, and three and assignments are due after this class. When you click on a lesson to open it, it says what are the readings for the week? And remember anything highlighted, you're going to have to decide whether you want it to be that or you want it to change. Slide presentations, we're waiting to see if Carrie can give us access or you're going to have to create your own. Videos, if we find any videos that you want to use for class, they could get the links can go here. The assignments, I have quizzes on one, two, and three will be taken after class and you have to give in a due date and participation in discussion boards, which I have not added yet, but we can talk about. They go here. I thought that your discussion boards could be more of the critical thinking type questions in the textbook, and the quizzes would be more of what is in the um, more objective questions in the textbook. So here is chapter one. I'm going to open it to show you what the students will say and then I'll open it to show you what it looks like behind the scenes. So if a student opens chapter one, it says um, they have 20 minutes, there's 13 questions. They'll hit begin and they can answer each question. I made each question 0.77 so that the quiz is a total of 10 points. Um, that can be changed very easily. So this is what the students see and there are 13 questions. It is set up so that the questions will occur in different order so that if five students are taking the test at the same time and they say what do you have for question one um, that it will not um, it will not they will not all have the same question. Okay so here is what the test looks like behind the scenes. That's wrong. Oh. So if you wanted to edit the test options, which is what I hit accidentally, it shows that the test opens in a new window, which is always best. It helps keep things more clear. Making it available to students means they'll be able to open it. Um, I don't ever put an announcement in, but you can. The timer is set for 20 minutes for 10 questions. Um, you will have to change the start date and the end date, whatever you want it to be. So it's just here is the time that I've put it in. And then I ha you'll put in the due date and you include in the test grade section. They will get their grade. It says after submission, my recommendation is that you change it to due date, but you can't put after due date until you actually put a due date in here. I always click on these three items, sorry, what are all the answers, what did they submit, and which ones are incorrect. That way they can go back and look at the other options. As we progress, if we add feedback to each question, like we can add that also, but right now there's no feedback. So I always put in there to show all the questions at one time and to randomize the questions. I prefer to submit all the questions at one time because it's most like a paper test then. You can do it one question at a time and you can prohibit them from backtracking. I have never ever clicked prohibit from backtracking, but there are cases when that's probably appropriate. So that's what the background looks like. If you wanted to go in and look at the test questions, you would click edit the test. And when you go in here, it shows the question, and I just want to explain the numbering. 1.1 means this is 
chapter one, section one, and what's related to question one in the in the review. This is chapter one, section one, question two. Chapter one, section one, question three. And since there's two questions on question three from the review in the book, it says 3A and 3B. Then where it has sections 1.2.1, that's section 1.2 in the book and question one. So I have put this in, the first question is always right. That is the fastest way to put in test questions and answers. However, and I have to go back and show you something. Let's do this. Let's edit a question so you can see what it looks like behind the scenes. Back. So if you were to go in to edit this, you would be able to see that it says show the answers in random order. So even though Question, the first answer is marked as the correct answer. When the students take this, the, the answers show in random order. So the questions will appear in random order and the answers will appear in random order. You can change that if you want. It just helps reduce cheating when you do that. So um, if you wanted, if you wanted to set it up so that the the choices are always in the right or if the choices are always in the same order a b c d then you would this just change the order and put the right answer wherever you want it i rotate questions and i rotate the order of the answers to reduce cheating that's the only reason i do it Let's go back to content. So again, each lesson will be set up like this. I've put objectives in for certain of your lessons. Um, I've started objectives. And then you can just see how it's progressing. Once you're in here, you can give me feedback as we're going along. I did not want to go too far because I didn't want to get too involved in this until you have at least seen it and we've talked a little bit. If you look at lesson two, it says this class is held asynchronously online. This means you work on your own to complete everything by the due dates given. So I will put in the objectives. Um, and again, it's set up the same way. Here we'll put in the readings. If there's slide presentations, which hopefully there will be, they'll be there videos, assignments, and quizzes. So I look forward to talking to you about this. You can think about what it looks like and then we, we can move forward and making adjustments so that it best fits your needs. I'll talk to you soon.